You fled your country because you did not feel safe there. You have now arrived in the Netherlands. Welcome. The Netherlands is a small coastal country in Western Europe with a population of around 17 million. You applied for asylum in the Netherlands to obtain protection. You are following an asylum procedure which can take several weeks to several months. This video provides a brief explanation of the usual asylum procedure and the organizations you will encounter along the way. Organizations Vluchtelingen Werk Nederland is an independent human rights organization. Vluchtelingen Werk explains the asylum procedure and can provide legal support throughout the process. Vluchtelingenwerk can also help you contact other organizations. Vluchtelingenwerk works at all reception centers of the Central Orgaan Opvang Asielzoekers, COA. The COA will accommodate you during the asylum procedure. The COA arranges shelter, meals and counseling for all asylum seekers. You may be moved to different reception centers in the Netherlands during the asylum procedure. Medical care is available at every reception center. You can contact the medical team if you're sick or have any mental health issues or medical questions. You can also call the doctor's hotline from every reception center. If you're under the age of 18, Stichting Nidos will support you. Nidos arranges guardianship, shelter and other matters, such as education. The Immigratie en Naturalisatie Dienst, IND, is a Dutch government organization that assesses your asylum application. The IND will investigate your story and the situation in the country you came from and determine whether you're entitled to asylum in the Netherlands. Dienst Terugkeer en Vertrek, DTNV, is another Dutch government organization. If the IND rejects your asylum application definitively, DTNV will contact you to arrange your return to your country of origin. The Dutch government will arrange a lawyer for you during the asylum procedure. You do not have to pay for this. The lawyer is independent. Interpreters will be available during most of your interviews with staff from various organizations. The interpreter may be present in person or translate over the phone. Interpreters are neutral and independent and do not influence the outcome of your asylum application. Asylum Procedure We will now explain the usual asylum procedure. Application Phase the application phase involves the official identification and registration by the aliens' police or the Koninklijke Marechaussee. They will ask for your papers and details and how you travel to the Netherlands. You will be searched and fingerprinted. You must sign the application upon completion. The next step in the application phase is to complete a questionnaire, the application form, digitally or on paper. The questions are about who you are, where you're from, who your family members are and how you travelled. The questionnaire ends with a question about why you fled. This is your reason for requesting asylum. All information from the questionnaire is sent to the IND. You will usually also undergo a chest x-ray during the application phase to check for tuberculosis. You will receive medication if necessary. The first meeting with the IND is called the reporting interview. The IND will check the answers you gave on the application form. The IND will also check your answer about why you fled but will not ask about it. You will have an opportunity to talk about that extensively later in the process. You can also inform the IND of any corrections and additions during this interview. Rest and preparation period. After the application phase, you will be given time to rest and prepare properly for the rest of the asylum procedure. This is known as the rest and preparation period. 
Use this time to gather documents and other evidence needed to support your story. And to prepare your story. Information and legal support. Vluchtelingenwerk will provide extensive information about your asylum procedure. This is called information provision. At your request, Vluchtelingenwerk can provide legal support and help you collect documents that are important for your asylum application. You will meet your lawyer for the first time at this stage. They will provide legal representation during the asylum procedure. Your lawyer will review the reporting interview report with you and prepare you for the detailed interview, which is your second interview with the IND. During the detailed interview, the IND will ask for more details about why you fled your country. Both Vluchtelingenwerk and your lawyer work independently of the Dutch government and are there to provide legal assistance and information. Use their knowledge. Tell them as much as possible and ask questions. Vluchtelingenwerk and your lawyer will treat everything you tell them as confidential. Medical advice. Before the asylum procedure begins, a nurse will usually assess, based on what you tell them, whether you are fit to attend the interviews with the IND and whether the IND must take your medical situation into account. If you have any medical problems or scars, tell them. The asylum procedure. Your asylum procedure is beginning. This is an important moment. The asylum procedure can take anywhere from several days to several months. The duration depends on your procedure and the time the IND needs to reach a decision on your application. The Netherlands has different types of asylum procedures. How the interviews with the IND are conducted may also vary. Interviews are often held in a room with an IND official and the interpreter. The IND may also decide to conduct the interview via video link. The IND may ask you to write down your story and conduct an interview after reviewing your written report. The following is an outline of the standard asylum procedure. Your procedure may differ slightly depending on your individual situation. You will have a second interview with the IND during the asylum procedure. This is called the detailed interview and is an important interview. The IND will ask questions about why you think you are at risk in your country, why you think the attention is personally focused on you and what evidence you have to prove your concerns. A Fluchtelingenwerk staff member can attend the interview with the IND if desired and possible. Discuss this with your lawyer. The IND official will draw up a report of the detailed interview. You and your lawyer check the reports for errors. If there are any errors in the report, your lawyer will report them to the IND. The IND will decide on your asylum application based on the reporting interview, the detailed interview, the evidence submitted and your lawyer's response. There are three possibilities. Your asylum application is approved. The IND intends to reject your asylum application. This is called the intended decision. The IND needs more time to complete its investigation. If the IND intends to reject your asylum application, you will discuss the matter with your lawyer. If you disagree, your lawyer will write a letter to the IND explaining your arguments. The IND may approve your asylum application as a result of your lawyer's letter or decide that it needs more time to complete its investigation. In that case, you will switch to the extended asylum procedure. The IND may also still reject your asylum application. Your lawyer will talk with you to determine whether to file an appeal with the court. If an appeal is filed, the court will decide whether the IND made the right decision. After the procedure. If you're granted a residence permit, you're allowed to live and work in the Netherlands. 
If you have a family, you can bring them to the Netherlands under certain conditions. Vluchtelingenwerk can support you in the next steps and inform you about how things are done in the Netherlands. If the IND rejects your asylum application definitively, DTNV will contact you to arrange your return to your country of origin. Vluchtelingenwerk can offer you help, advice and support if you are forced to return. If you have any questions about this video or the asylum procedure, you can talk to a Vluchtelingenwerk staff member. We are present at all asylum seekers centers. Visit www.forrefugees.nl for more information about the asylum procedure.